before we start, I just want to uh, make a brief statement. From time to time earlier this year, we began a new tradition where we would invite a variety of civic organizations or individuals to either lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance or sing the national anthem. At this time, I'm very excited to introduce the Plattsburgh Lions Club, which has served our local community now for 76 years primarily providing sight and hearing support services to our local community through programs like Children's Eyes Screening Clinics and financial support for families who need assistance. They also support the efforts to control and prevent diabetes, a leading cause of blindness. They also support our local food shelves, provide youth volunteer and leadership experiences, perform hands-on community work and service projects to provide emergency assistance, and make contributions to various local community initiatives. The Lions currently have about 35 volunteer members and are looking for some more, of course. Mm -hmm. But today, we also have with them Pepper, who is the mascot of the Plattsburgh Lions Club. Lost her sight due to diabetes and a glaucoma last year and now gives inspirational presentations to schools, libraries, and other places. Her family, Suzanne, Brian Moore, and their daughter, Shelby, were inspired by the way Pepper took all her medicine, oh, excuse me, medical issues and even blindness in stride so created the Blind Pup Project to encourage others and fight stigma around disabilities. Pepper's two mottos are, I, I'm not my disability, I'm me. And if I get the rough, if things get rough, excuse me, keep wagging your tail. No. They are especially pleased to lead the Pledge of Allegiance along with their Alliance Club members. Please join me in inviting them forward. <laughs> We'll take the lead from the humans. All <laughs> set. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you. I think that was a godless America. <laughs> Thank you very much, and thank you for all you do in our community. Present in the hallway. Resolution 16131, the abstract. Dissolve with the abstract of audit of claims number 16-16, 1069 to 1189 for $139,773.56. And abstract 16-16, 230 to 246, prepays in the amount of $307,877.84. Be received as reviewed by the audit committee and the supervisors hereby authorized to pay said abstract. Is there a motion? So moved. Ebert, is there a second? Second? <laughs> I think the Phoenix. second was out there. <laughs> Any discussion? Seeing none. Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Martin Janet? Yes. Michael Thay? Yes. Mark Ebert? Yes. Yes. Resolution carries. Resolution 16132, monthly department reports. Resolved to receive and place on final monthly department head reports. Building and grounds and safety committee, highway superintendent, park and recreation, supervisors financial report, town clerk, post and zoning, the 
historian, planning, and water and wastewater. Is there a motion? Dave, is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Just for the planning, then. Uh, and, it, and it doesn't it go to the planning committee, which I think they're doing now. Um, it's recommended in the in the master plan that uh, uh, we have uh, passive solar and a lot of, now that we're in this campaign to solarize the Adirondack coast, um, and, and it's, it is within range of many people in cost. Um, as people are building these, uh, it, I think that we have to uh, make sure that they know if they could just face the building so that the roof is to the south, they could get, uh, you know, they could get a lot more production of, uh, of solar energy um, when they put these on. So, you know, I would, I would encourage uh, uh, people to, um, to do that if they're building to uh, build such that, that the uh, roof is slanted so that it most faces to the south. I realize that that doesn't always match with being right, you know, along the road, but I think that's the most important. Any other discussion? Seeing none, roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Martin Manick? Yes. Andy Hayes? Yes. Barb Bieber? Yes. <coughs> yes, carries. Resolution 16133, Four Season Subdivision Phase 2 and 3, 2013, Lots 10 to 21, Dedicated Road and Retention Basin. So now the Town of Plaster Planning Board will receive and approve the Four Season Subdivision Phase 2 and Phase 3 of 2013, Lots 10 through 21, and Retention Basin Parcel. Whereas the subdivision developer, Bill Sawyer, has submitted a deed for conveyance of improvements to the town representing approximately 1,500 feet plus or minus of new public road and related street lighting, storm drainage, and retention basin. Whereas the Highway Superintendent, Building and Grounds Director, Planning Department has conducted and or supervised an on-site inspection of the constructed improvements and submitted a letter dated June 10, 2016 and May 10, 2016, respectively, recommending the acceptance and dedication of said improvements to the new road. Whereas the developer has required to prepare a final bill of sale and warranty deed to the town of Flatsburg for the new road and other improvements constructed in the subdivision conveyance of 1,500 feet plus or minus road identification as Sawyer Lane, in which road name has been verified by 9-11 Emergency Services and the U.S. Postal Service. Whereas the applicant has, shall be required to place with the town a one-year road and utilities warranty deposit for the road and utilities dedication in the amount of $7,500. And whereas the developer has completed the subdivision road with base and top coat asphalt, and the highway superintendent has inspected and does find the completed road suitable for acceptance and dedication. Whereas the developer is required to provide a check or cash <coughs> to the town in the amount of $2,060 for the cost associated with the street lights shown in the final subdivision plan. Whereas the Town of Plattsburgh Planning Department has determined that the Four Seasons Subdivision Phase 2 and 3 of 2013, lots 10 through 21, has completed all necessary improvements and completed with the Town Planning Board conditions of approval. Now therefore be resolved the Town Board does hereby receive and place on file the submitted letter stated June 10, 2016 and May 10, 2016 respectively recommending the acceptance and dedication of said improvements to the new road. And it be further resolved, the Town Board, Town of Plattsburgh, does hereby, upon the final warranty deed being found acceptable to the town planning attorney, accepts and dedicates 1,500 feet of binder and top coat asphalt. Road is identified as Sawyer Lane as a public road. And it be further resolved, the Town Board, Town of Plattsburgh, does authorize the town planning attorney to review a said deed, and upon review and acceptance, authorize the recording of the final warranty deed in the Clinton County Clerk's Office, which conveys approximately 1,500 feet plus or minus of new public road related street lighting, storm drainage, and retention basin. And it be further resolved, the Town Board is hereby authorized an 
energized of said street lights, with which located in the general lighting di district. And it be further resolved that the developer be required to place with the town a one year road and utilities warranty deposit for the road and utilities dedication in the amount of one or seven thousand five hundred dollars or fifteen hundred feet at five dollars per foot, which equals seventy five hundred dollars. And it be further resolved that the de dedication and acceptance of Sawyer Lane be subject to the developer a reimbursement to the town of $2,060 cost associated with the street lighting. And it be further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager, town clerk, building and grounds director, highway department, and water and sewer, and the planning department. Uh, is there a motion? So moved. Mannix, is there a second? I have a, I still have a deposit on for um, uh, for the rest of the year for for this work, right? And mm -hmm. so that so that isn't being funded at this point. I would like to see one uh, change made. If there's no objection to either of you, I'd like a uh, planning attorney change to deputy attorney. I don't have somebody specifically for planning. Where is that? would be on the last Resolve resolved on the first page and then in the first true resolved on the second page. There's no more further conversation. Um, <coughs> I would ask for a roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Mark Mannix? Yes. Meg LaFave? Yes. Barb Eber? Yes. Mark yes. Uh, this resolution does carry. Resolution 1634, Saranac School Bus Lease Agreement for the Town of Bosbrook Recreation Programs, 2016-2017. Well, the Town of Bosbrook Recreation Program provides opportunities for you during the summer to participate in a number of programs throughout the municipality. Whereas transportation in a rural community will often prevent town youth from participating in recreational programs. Whereas the Saranac Central School District is willing to enter into an agreement with the Town of Plattsburgh to provide a bus for summer youth programs. Therefore, it be resolved the Town Board has hereby approved the bus school bus lease agreement between Saranac Central School District as a leaseor and the Town of Plattsburgh as a leasee. And leasee buses for youth recreational purposes, purposes commencing on the first day of July 2016 and ending on the 30th day of June 2017 for school buses described and said lease subject to be rental at no consideration but subject to the terms and consideration conditions set forth in the said lease and it be further resolved that after review and approval by the town attorney the supervisor is hereby authorized to execute said lease for the town of Plattsburgh and he is directed to obtain and initiate compliance of all terms and provisions of said lease agreement at the rate of $2.80 per mile. And it be further resolved that a copy of this resolution be forwarded to the finance manager, recreation director, Saranac School District, and Cool and Short. Is there a motion? Mm -hmm. Babe, is there a second? Second. Mannix, is there any discussion? The 280 is uh, per mile, and then uh, we pay for a driver from the school. Yeah, I'm just going to ask that. Mel said, yeah. Mel said that it was provided as part of the service. Okay. Any further discussion? Seeing none, roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Martin Manich? Yes. Michael Bay? Yes. Mark Beaver? Yes. Mark Ash? Yes. This resolution so carries. Resolution 16135, Emergency Vacuum Truck Pump Repair. Whereas the Water and Wastewater Department has one vacuum truck, and whereas the vacuum truck is critical to maintain water and wastewater efficiency and prevent overflow. And whereas Bruce Barber, mechanic, has determined that the vacuum truck is in need of emergency pump repair in order to stay in service. Whereas Typhoon Equipment Incorporated, the sole source factory authorized distributor of Sterling Vacuum Truck, and
and has quoted the material needed at a cost of $6,383.84. Therefore, it be resolved the town board town of Blasford is hereby authorized the purchase of necessary repair parts of Cyclone Equipment Incorporated in the amount of $6,383.84. And it be further resolved that the supervisor be here and authorized to sign all any related documents relative to repair of this account that water and sewer. And it be further resolved that a copy of this resolution be forwarded to the financial officer and a copy be given to Mr. Stoddard, Water and Wastewater Director. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Um, I appreciate Marty's time to give some clarification on the uh, on the request and also the support documentation that, mm -hmm. that was with us. So that. that was one of the things that I, I asked for. Um, now that Bruce is serving in the mechanics role over in that shop, um, I think it is only appropriate to have some additional backup from the mechanic that's doing some review. So, um, yep. uh, just one minor um, yep. change, if it's okay, is it made the motion? Uh, financial officer, finance manager? Yep. Any objections? Uh, seeing no further conversation, roll call. Uh, <laughs> Thomas Woods? Yes. Mark Manick? Yes. Mike Lefebvre? Yes. Yes. Barb Hebert? Yes. Mike Cashman? Yes. So does Carrie. Okay. <laughs> uh, before we conclude tonight's meeting, I would entertain a motion to go into an exec executive session if there is one on the floor. Do we have a purpose? Uh, I personally would like to talk about two individuals' uh, specific work history. I'll make a motion that we do that. Okay. I'll second. Okay, next. Okay. So, just for clarification of the audience, we are going into executive session to talk about. Uh, the work history of two specific persons. I do not anticipate it being a lengthy conversation, but nonetheless, uh, it'll take as long as it needs to. Are you here for a class and do you need a signature? Yeah, yeah. We will be happy to do that so you don't have to hang, hang around all week. Wait till 10 <laughs> Come on up. Well, hopefully, it's not going to be that long. No, it, it won't be that long, but I do need to draw a couple of things that need to. But although, those are making long meetings. Just when you have that. I was just going to say, it's a little late. They don't need to do that. It's a little late. It's natural. Yeah, so do we need to sign your paper too? Or don't, no, okay, you're all right? All right. Good. Just want to make sure. You're a good teacher. And we are going into executive session at 7 17. Thanks for coming, young man. Appreciate that. Oh. Did he get a signal? <laughs> you know, you can find all this, all the resolutions and everything online. I know, but I couldn't get it to because it kept uh, it's a zip file, so it went to something. And I it is a zip file, that's yeah, true. So. But nevertheless, they're all there. Yeah, it's, like everything they did the is online. To navigate. It's just it goes to the zip file, and then you know, at school I can open.
Republicans are going to, I'm a Republican and I don't think they're going to do anything. And I don't quite frankly blame them. No. You know, uh, that's a long story. As a teacher, I don't.